This little ditty is based on a, is very loosely based on a true story. It happened to me. Um, it's also somewhat embellished, as good stories should be, I hope. Um, it's also designated as the first entry, uh, the first donation to Kudrin's Library of Cherry Scott's Ballads, <laughs> if such a thing there be. And it does have a moral. Oh, upon the road to Islington, one balmy summer's day, with drooping head and weary tread, a woman made her way, a woman made her way. In youth she'd had a lovely face, now lined with care and pain, with tangled hair and feet so bare, she toiled along the lane, she toiled along the lane. Beneath her arm an oaken chest, a shabby gown of green. Upon her back she bore a sack of canvas coarse and mean, of canvas coarse and mean. A lady fair in velvet gown and cap of finest lawn, six pearls upon her coronet, fair to to Islington, fair to to Islington. A casket we in hand she bore, and book in leather bound. Her silken shoon and cleft they find, their equal could not be found. Their equal could not be found. Two knights o'ertook the lady fair, and bowed with courtesy, saying, We are bound for Islington, the princess for to see, the princess for to see. A boon, a boon, they begged of her, her burden for to bear. Sir Palman took the gold stamp book, Sir Guy the casket rare, Sir Guy the casket rare. Our travelers three, with mirth and glee, went on their merry way. They passed the weary woman by, and a kind word did say, and a kind word did say. There came a ragged peasant lad, the dusty road along. Though poor in goods all through the woods, his voice rang out in song. His voice rang out in song. His shoon had long since worn a while, in rags his feet were bound. With shirt of homespun rough and crude, and trews patched all around. And trews patched all around. Good mistress, would ye for a time that I your burden bear? Geordie, my name, though poor in fame, I would relieve your care. I would relieve your care. It's gladly he took her burden up on, upon his shoulders grow. Of all the boon companions, it's Geordie surpassed them all. It's Geordie surpassed them all. <laughs> the woman thanked the peasant lad, he laid her burden doon. And it's they twa have parted ways when they came to Islington, when they came to Islington. A tournament they held that day, a game for all to see. There to decide who'd take the prize for matchless chivalry, for matchless chivalry. A princess rare they honored there, a lady great and good. She journeyed far from her own country, cross river, field, and wood. Cross river, field, and wood. Is many and many a worthy deed was done upon the field. Sir Guy and both Sir Palamon made ten brave knights to yield. Made ten brave knights to yield. The master of the list then stood, your highness spoke he fair. Pray tell us who for courtesy the honors I shall bear. The honors I shall bear. The princess stood in gown of gold, the populous addressed. It's I shall say who of all the field that hath performed the best, that hath performed the best. This day have I seen nickel deeds of skill for prowess sake, but daring deeds upon the list do not a noble make, do not a noble make. It's Geordie shall sit at my right hand and drink from cup of gold, for he hath more of courtesy than any champion bold, than any champion bold. He did not spurn me upon the road, though I was say base to see. Through many a weary mile and there gave great kindness he bore to me, great kindness he bore to me. 
and he shall be my champion and serve me as my squire, a beacon bright to all who may to courtesy aspire, to courtesy aspire.